it's Maddie from Blooming Lovely Looms and today I'm showing you something a little bit different than what I usually do. Today I'm going to be making a doll and it's recently been seen in the movies and the movie is called Maleficent. So I will be making that doll today. So you're going to need some black bands. I've just got the whole packet here because there's a lot of bands needed. I'm going to use some dark purple as well just to mix it up a bit. I'm going to use orange because I don't have any skin colour, but that's going to be my skin colour. And I need two blue for my eyes. To start off, you want to just get, we're basically using double bands the whole time. So that's two bands like this. Put them together. You want to go from the very first one to the middle. Yeah. Get another double bands and you want to put them diagonally to the left. And then get another double bands and you want to put them diagonally to the right. After that, you can get blacks or purples. I'm going to start off with black. And I just want to put double bands there. Double bands on this side as well. And then you want to do it again in the middle and then you are just continuing that we'll do it twice until we I change it up a bit middle still double bands and right okay now I'm just going to change it a bit I'm going to get one black and one purple. It doesn't matter what order you layer them in, but you just want to do the exact same thing. Then do that again. Black and purple together. And put them over. Last one, black and purple. Okay, now all the way down the loom, we're just going to keep doing a normal pattern now. But before we continue with that, I'm going to show you how to make the arms, which will be on the hook. And I'll also show you the horns, because they will just sit on here. Okay, so first you want to get two black. And I, f I flip my loom around because it makes it a bit easier. And you want to get... You can start really anywhere on the loom. You're taking it off anyway. One... F no, let's start three. One going diagonal from the left to the middle. That's my bands. One going up. And another one going up. So we have an L sort of shape. Okay, now we push down the end one because that's the one you're starting on. And you want to make a cap band. So twist, put it over and put it on there. Now we're going to flip it again. And you're going to pull back the cap band and grab both of the black bands underneath. There should be two. Do that again. Just like a single chain, but I've just mixed it up a little bit. And go diagonal. So now you can take that off, but I'd put the hook in and I'll take it off from this way. That's your little horn coming off. And I just want to put my fingers through the top and I want to put it just on the end because we don't use that end one. Then we're going to do that exact same thing again to make the second horn. So I won't guide you through this one. 
you can just watch because it's exactly the same as before. Cat band. Okay. Pull back the cat band. And you want to grab both your blacks. I'm just going to grab mine one at a time because I've got little red bands underneath, but that's just marking for my camera. Alright, I've done that horn. Now I'm going to use my hook, put it under the one that I just looped over because that's the one with no cap on it, so it's just a loose band. You want to just pull it a bit, put your fingers through, and then hang it off the end. Okay, so as you can see, my horns are at the end of the loom, right here, because I'm not going to use these two pegs and that's where I can hold it. So now I'm going to show you the arms. This one is quite simple. I'm just going to move that up. Okay. okay, for the arms, it's like a fishtail, fishtail arms. You're going to make the start of the fishtail, so I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use these two. You need to double this side though. So when you put it on there, before you do the figure eight, you need to twist it around this one so that you can see two bands on this side and then twist it and you put it back on there. So there should be one on this side and two on this side. Then you want to grab another orange because we're just doing the skin, it's fine. And, um, you, you're still doubling, so you put double over and then got to put another double over. So it does look like there's quite a lot of bands here, but it's not actually that many. Pull that over, and then you want to pull the first two over as well. And then you should have a tight end there, because that will just secure it more and make it look more like a hand. Last double bands we can put on there, because then we can start putting on the sleeve. So you want to grab two bands, lift them up, and two bottom bands, lift those up. Okay, now I'm going to put on some purple, two bands over the top, Put this side, two, Two. Quite a thick hand, but that's what we want. And then I'm going to get another purple. Stick that on here. Get my last oranges out. And I've done the hand part. Now I'm going to grab two blacks. Double blacks again. Pull them over. And get the purple, two purple out, pull them over, and oh, I've got one on that side, so I'll just get my other one. There we go, two on that side, I'm just gonna pull it out, give it a bit of a tug. So it's quite a thick hand, but that's what we want. Push it down, and you wanna grab another two black. Get out your two purples, which should be your last purples unless you want to do extra purples. Pull on the hand a bit. Now we can just use, oh, I might put another two, make the sleeve a bit longer. Another two. You just want to get the two bottom bands. 
There we go. Put those two over and then get the bottom two from this side and pull those over. You can do it anywhere on the loom. I'm just putting it here for now. Just going to pull out one. Hold it on there so I can hold it out. Now I'm just going to use one because I'm just going to hook over the last two. So I might use a purple. So I'm not going to actually see that colour on there. It's just so I can get over my last ones. got one from that side so far. There we go, second one. And then I'm gonna grab your other two. There's one. Two. Okay, just one more. Use a black one. Get the last two blacks and the last two black. Oh. That's when that can sometimes happen just because there's a lot of bands on it. Just hold it down. There we go. <laughs> That's one hand done. Quite a big hand. Taking it off, just hold on to those the very last one you've done, peel it off and peel out the top two bands because you don't need those. Put those back. Okay, so I've got my two. I'm going to put my finger through them so that I can get it off easier. And then I want to put it on my shoulder. So the shoulder, just here, you just want it on this one. So it will get quite crowded on that one, but you just push it down and that comes off. Now you want to make it the other hand. Okay, I've just done the arm. I just stopped the video and did my other arm. I'll show you where to put it. I'll move the loom back and I'll show you where you can put the shoulder. So I'm just going to take that off. Lifting it off. Take out the bands. Take out the purple one first. Ow. One, <laughs> two. Okay. Put my finger through those ones. And through these ones. Okay, I'll just hold that on my finger. And I'll move my loom down. And I'll put it on here. Same as the other one. So they're both on the shoulders like that. And they'll just sit there until I finish looming. Now I'm just going to move it up to the middle. And I might just actually move it down the top. Tidbit. Okay, so now I can actually continue looming these ones. So I want to get double bands, double black bands. And I'm going all the way down to the end. So I'll keep moving it down as I go. Okay, now I can move it up to the middle. Make sure you're still using double bands, otherwise the dress doesn't fit tightly. It needs to fit tightly together.
into the lower part now. All black bands out. I'm going to start, this is the last section that you need to use the double bands. So when you get to here, you want to stop. So you should have three that aren't being used. And now we're going to put a cap over them all. So we're going to go back down to the start. Actually, I think this will be right there. Okay, um, on these three, we're just going to use one band, put it over the top, oh, over the top of these arms. Make sure you push them down so you can, ha so you still have room. Once it gets over, sorry, just got to lower that a bit. Okay, once you put it over, you want to pull it out to the side, twist it, and put it back over so you've done a double. You're going to do that three times, down it, pull it over, twist, pull it over, twist, oh man, pull it over, twist, and over again. Last one, pull it over, twist, and over there. Okay. Now it's double bands, get double bands and just put them in a triangle. They don't need to be crossed over or anything because you just got to use the two bands. It's going all the way down to the very end, but at the very, very end, changes one tiny bit. So. Yep, two more. I'm gonna go. One. Two. Alright, last one is done. So now for this one, you still want to use two bands. And instead of going over all three triangles, you gotta put it over the first one. When you get to the second one, you wanna turn it over, uh, you wanna go want it to go around. So you can't have it on the front like a normal triangle. It can't be over like that. It needs to be at the back of it. And then you put it on. And that makes the bottom square go like a rectangle. Okay. Oh, keep that there. Now we're going to start hooking. This is quite a simple process. It's pretty much the same all the way down to the very end. You're going to pull back the very last one we did, grab the bottom, and put it over the top. Make sure you push the bands down, because there's, there sometimes isn't much room on it. Pull back, pull over. If you don't grab them both at the same time, that's perfectly fine. Just grab it out afterwards. The middle one, the middle line is probably the easiest line because you don't have to pull back any bands, you just got to go straight forward. Once you've done the first one, you want to just make sure that you're doing the exact same the whole time. No, okay. Pull back and go forward. Repeat this all the way to the end. Make sure you do push down the bands though because they get in the way a lot. Right. Pull back and over. Pull back and over. Keep missing it. down.
sorry if I'm not talking because sometimes it's weird when you're doing it and there's no talking but I don't really need to explain anything at this moment because it's all pretty much the same. Make sure not to miss any because if you accidentally go, oh, I've done that one and skipped the next one, the whole band will fall apart just because of that one little mistake. Because obviously if you're not hooking one, that's not connecting it all the way up and that's when you can start to have problems and get frustrated. Don't want that happening. Okay, I'm coming up to my last bit. This is probably the trickiest bit. Only because um, you really have to make sure that you are careful with the amount of bands that are coming up. I'm just going to secure that. Okay, we're coming up to the tough bands, which means they're just the singular one. So they're probably a bit tougher to have to pull back on. Hmm. I've got over here, that wouldn't have been good. Okay, when you get to the arms, you just need to ignore them and just keep continuing to hook over like it is a normal band because that's what connects it to the actual body. So I'm at the arms right now, so I've just hooked over them. And you have to be really careful that you do not break any bands, especially right now because you're going under like all of them. Grabbing the bottom two, lifting them over. Go all the way under, grab the bottom two, and lift them over. Okay, we're coming up to the orange ones, and that's still the same, except from the left, you want to grab your orange and pull in to the right, I mean the middle, which is still to the right. Then you want to grab your right, the one that's on the right, and you want to pull that over to the middle. Now, this one's probably the even trickier one. You want to pull back all of these bands and get out the two bottom bands that connect to the neck. Okay, just ignore the black dots that you can probably see in the big video because that's just where I position my loom. Okay, now it is time to take this off. What you want to do is use your hook. You need to be really careful with this, especially because there's a lot of bands on here. So just use the hook and pull them off. Just grab it from the middle. It doesn't You don't need to be nice with it until you get closer to the end where it actually matters if you are nice with it or not. It'll start to curl, that's perfectly fine. It actually makes it a bit easier when you're taking it off. Forget to move the loom. Oh yeah, sorry guys. Still doing the same thing. Alright, I'm getting closer to my arms. This part you need to be quite careful with because you don't want to accidentally break anything. Because remember, there are a lot of bands on here. And it can be quite, I guess, scary. Ok, 
Okay, that dress is looking pretty good. Take it off. Okay, with this one, you just want to be extra careful. Take off that. Take off that. And that worked. That's good. Up at the neck, you want to make sure that you don't go any further than this peg because you want to actually keep it on the very end one. Okay, so I'm just going to carefully pull that off. And there. That is the dress with the little arms attached. It's got a nice frill. And what we're going to do is we're just going to twist it around at the end. So it dangles off the end like this, off the end peg. And we're going to start on the face. All right. Now it's time to do the head. So I'm going to bring my loom all the way down to the front. And I'm going to get more black. This is the mask that goes like around her face on the edges. And then it leads to her horn. Oh, oh, I'll drop one. Okay. Yep, so this is the mask that goes on the side and it comes out as horn. So you want to get your first colour, which is black. And you want to put it on from the middle one to the left. Don't use the ones that have the horns and the dress on it. Use the ones just below it. And they're just going in both directions like that. Then you want to go down one on both sides. And then we'll use skin colour. And the skin colour goes from here to here. Goes from here to here. Yep, that's right. And then it goes from here to... Wait, put the middle one first. Middle to there. And then middle up right to there. Then you want to go from left to the middle and right to the middle. So it makes kind of a weird shape, I guess. And then you want to put your blue on four times on that peg. So you go one, two, three, four. Okay, so that should look like that. Four times on the one peg. And then on this one, one, two, three, four. Okay, then you want to push that down a bit. And you want to put one single orange on there. And then you want to grab your blue. It doesn't matter if you don't get them all at one time because there is a lot of them there. Oh, hang on. And pull over the blue. It's okay if you forget one or accidentally leave one there. It should cringe it so you should have a little gap there. Same with this one. Okay, grab your blues and pull them over. Hmm, I got them all in one go. That's good. Okay, so your eyes should be cringed in like that. That's done. Now, time for the trickier part. You want to let me just secure that on there. So you want to grab your doll off of its peg by holding it on the hook like this and then you just want to add it on here but don't let go of the end yet see how I'm holding on to the end of its neck there you just want to hold on to that and you want to pull out 
your top band, which for me goes to my left. So then you just pull that over to your left. That'll give you a bit of a gap. I like to put it on my next peg just to hold it there. And then pick up this one. Loosen it a bit, so that's when you take it off of that peg and give it a bit of a tug. And this one goes over here. You can tell because it's pulling in the right direction. Just give it a bit of a tug because there's a lot of bands there so it is quite tight. And then the middle one goes straight across. Okay, then from here you want to go behind all of these and pick up the two bands and pull them across. Do not worry if it goes over the eyes, it's meant to. Same on this side, pull them all down till you get the last two and pull over the last two. Does not matter if it, got, if it does anything to the eyes because it's meant to be like that. Okay, now you'll just want to put your hook in the horns. So you can't see that, might bring it down a bit. Pull it off, still holding on to it. The horns go on the very end, because that's what I've got on my phone. I just forgot. Okay, so that is a very tight end, but they both go on the end of it to dangle off. So you might want to actually push that down so you can get there. Bring that one over there. There's your two horns. Okay, so yes, now you can bring this over. Oh, I accidentally took my orange. Just go put that back. You need to go back there. Do the same for the middle. The middle is just going straight onto this one. I know there's a lot of bands on here. We can sort that out later. Pull back. Grab and put on. Now for the sides, yes, more bands are going onto the top one. That's all right. Pull it over and pull it over. Now I'm going to get two purples. I'm going to stick my hook all the way through all those bands. Put the two purples on the very end of the hook and pull it. And then I'm going to pull the hook back through all of those and I'm going to do a slip knot so you just got to pull the bands over the first band so you should have it should look like this then you want to get your finger under the first one and take it off and then let go you just give that a bit of a pull you should get a little slip knot and you want to make sure you hold that while you're taking it off as well because there are still lots of bands on here now I'll put my stick through, I'll pull them all out, pull them off of there, pull them off of here. Just use your hook if you need to because some of them might be very full. Off of here, off of here. Last ones. And there you go. Can just fix it up a little bit if you want to. Some band might be a bit loose. You can use whatever colour for that slip knot. Maybe you might want to use a black because it goes in a bit better. Just pull it if you need to. Loosen some, tighten some, pull on the dress a bit, pull on the arms a bit, fix it up. And there you go. Your own little Maleficent doll. Fix up the face and it's all done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Might have been a longer tutorial than normal, but I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you for all watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Um, I'd also like to say a big thank you for. At the moment, I have over 1,000 views all together on all my videos and I'm so happy. It makes me so happy seeing that and I really wanted to thank you guys. You've really helped. Um, make sure to check in the description box below to see my Instagram, 
my Facebook page and my Pinterest links. They'll all be in the description box below and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. How cute does this look?